Hi there, I'm Piggy the Pangolin. I roll up into a ball and I'm scared. Or if I think I'm being attacked. I'm a native animal living in Singapore. That means my natural home is Singapore, just like you. How can that be? That's because Singapore is a city in a garden. What do you expect to find in the garden? That's right! Trees! What else do you have in the garden? Yes, we have beautiful flowers. Is there anything else in the garden? Any ideas? Yes, there are animals! As you can see, Singapore has all those things. Would you like to see some of my favorite places in our city in the garden? Fantastic! Come with me! This is Bishan Angmokyo Park. Have you been here before? It's so much fun! It has many playgrounds and fitness corners, and lots of cycling and skating paths. Green spaces like Bishan Angmokyo Park help to make our home a city in the garden. Do you want to know how? Let me tell you a little secret. Listen carefully. Psst, you see the river behind me? That's called the Kalong River, and it used to look like this. A long time ago, the Kalong River was turned into a concrete canal to collect rainwater for our water supply. But it doesn't look too natural, does it? So they removed the concrete and let the river flow naturally. Look at it now! Doesn't it look wonderful? Do you see those plants on the side of the river? Look at how the animals enjoy the clean, beautiful, naturalized Kalang River. Bishan Aimokyo Park provides a terrific home for all these plants and animals. Do you know that there are many other green places in Singapore where you can find animals? Look at this place! This is Central Catchment Nature Reserve. It is special because it's the largest forest in Singapore. And this is where I live with many of my friends. Don't you think my home is beautiful? Would you like to come over for a visit? There are some great ways to see my home. You can walk along this boardwalk and enjoy a real wildlife adventure with your family. How about looking down at us from the treetops? You can do that from this bridge, which is called the treetop walk. Look how high it is! The treetop walk is so much fun! My home looks fun, doesn't it? Come over for a visit, you'll love it! But can you promise me that you will help me look after my home? If you do, my animal friends and I can live here forever! Will you do that for me? Great! There are so many green and colorful places to explore at the Central Catchment Nature Reserve. But there are other great places to visit in Singapore where you do not even need to walk. You can do this instead. That's right, you can cycle. I wonder where they're going. Hang on guys, wait for me! Look carefully at this map. The children started out at Pongo Park and have cycled to Pongo Point Park. They have cycled from one park to another. Do you know how they did it? They follow the path called a park connector. Park connectors help us travel from one park to another and also help keep us healthy by giving us places to exercise. Singapore is joining more of our parks together as we continue to build our city in the garden. But our green island isn't just made up of parks and rainforest. We also have this wonderful place. This is Sungai Bolo Wetland Reserve. It is right next to the sea, and there are several rivers running through it too. Because of this, the land is wet, so they call it a wetland. Look at these plants that grow in the wetland. They are called mangroves. These trees have special prop roots, which hold the tree firmly in the soft, muddy ground. Look at all these birds. These birds are migratory birds. They come from countries in North, such as Russia and China. During the winter months, they fly south to countries such as Indonesia and Australia. Along the way, they stop at places such as Sungai Below Wetland Reserve. They stop here to take a break and to look for food. 
See how important Sungai Below Wetland Reserve is? Let me show you another place that is very important to all of us. This is the Singapore Botanic Gardens, and it is more than 150 years old. Isn't it beautiful? It also has a special garden for little children, just like you. This garden is called Jacob Ballas Children's Garden. The Singapore Botanic Gardens is well loved by many Singaporeans. Do come for a visit with your parents. I bet you didn't know that Singapore had so many parks, gardens, and nature reserves. We also have East Coast Park. And on the other side of Singapore, we have West Coast Park. Two great parks by the sea. We also have parks on top of a hill, like Fort Canning Park. Not only is it a fun park to visit, but it's a great place to learn about old Singapore. We even have bridges that connect parks together. Look at that huge tall bridge. It's called the Henderson Waves. Why do you think it has that name? Yes, because it's shaped like the waves of the sea. Can you move your body like a wave? The bridge joins two parts together, making the green places of our home even easier and fun for Singaporeans like you and me to visit. There are so many places to visit, so many trees to see, and so many birds and other animals to find here. That's because Singapore is one big city in the garden. Have you enjoyed our journey today? Fantastic! So make sure you get outside and have your own adventure. And remember, if we want to keep on living in a city in a garden, we must look after it, protect it, and keep it clean, so we can all share our beautiful green home together. Bye!